Hi, I'm Julio Cesar Flores, and this is a taste of Peru. I'm from Lima, Peru, it's the capital city. It is the only coastal capital city in all of South America uh, and one of the largest cities in the world. Lots of people, lots of culture, lots of food. Ceviche is the national dish of Peru. It's a very simple dish of just fish, onions, ají peppers, and lime juice. It was actually invented in Peru in the northern part of the country on the coast where my family comes from, where the Moche people used to live before the Inca Empire. They were fishermen. There were people that lived up the sea and they would go out in reed boats and bring the fish back to the coast and marinate it in acidic fruit before the Spanish brought the citrus. And that's where the ceviche came from. Okay, so now we're gonna deep fry this octopus to go on top of our ceviche. The garlic is gonna act as an adhesive for the flour. The Peruvian coast having one of the richest fishing grounds in the world. There's so much seafood you just you just love everything you can get out of the sea. You eat ceviche every single day. Every single day, it doesn't matter where you are. <laughs> but it, always eat that much. Growing up, my dad had a cevicheria, which is a restaurant that it specializes in ceviche and, and coastal seafood. That's actually where I get most of my inspiration for the cuisine that I make now. My dad makes really good ceviche. So just gonna deep fry this octopus till it's nice and golden. Octopus is already cooked, so we're just looking for a crunchy exterior. I love octopus fried, grilled, not just fried octopus, I mean, it's usually fried seafood. Whatever comes out of the sea, deep fry it, just give it to me. That looks good, that's perfect. It's nice and golden, you can tell it's crispy. I wanna eat it right now. We salt it while it's hot, so the salt sticks to it. Just a, just a tiny bit. Seafood tends to be a little briny, so it doesn't require that much salt to season. So I have my fish. Really fresh, really beautiful striped bass. It has a really nice texture for ceviche. Just cut the fish in half, like so, and then start slicing down. Depending on where you're from in Peru, there's actually different cuts. In Lima, you usually see diced. My family comes from the northern part of Peru, from the town of Trujillo. We actually like to do slices. Not too thick, but also not too thin. Basically, bite-sized pieces. The first thing that I like to do when I make ceviche is start with these three ingredients the way my dad likes to make it. Ají limo, uh, this pepper right here, it's the one that grows around the area of Lima. There are other ají peppers that are a lot like it in other parts of the country, but this is the one that is usually used for ceviche. It's the spice and the fruitiness and the, the aroma. Grab a little bit of salt, use it as an abrasive. Crush the ají limo, it releases its oils and aromas. Perfumes the fish as it sits in there. So we have our sliced fish, our jilimo garlic, and cilantro in this bowl. You're gonna do a quick cure. You'll use a little more salt than you think you need uh, because the amount of lime juice is so acidic, it actually needs the salt for it to be balanced in flavor. Peruvian cuisine is all about freshness. You don't wanna use pre-squeezed lime juice. Actually, lime juice changes in flavor uh, the minute you squeeze it. You want a good amount of lime juice in there. So what's gonna happen as the fish sat there with the salt and the other ingredients and cured, it actually also broke, uh, the proteins broke down into amino acids, creating that flavor that we like to call umami. It also pulls a lot of uh, other minerals and it mixes with lime juice. It'll be nice and white once it's done, and that's what we call it, leche de tigre, or tiger's milk. And I think that's good right there. The most important thing is fresh ingredients. It's a really, really simple dish. So when you make a simple dish, you want to make sure that you have the best ingredients possible because uh, you have nothing to hide uh, bad ingredients behind. Growing up, we didn't have any farmer's markets. They weren't needed. If you went to the market, that's where your fishmonger was and that's where the fruit lady was and the vegetable lady was and the bakery was and that, that's how I grew up. I was always around amazing food. Their typical accompaniments are choclo, which is Peruvian corn. This is the corn that we eat in Peru. We don't have the sweet yellow corn. This is, this is essentially what, what we eat. And then we have cancha, which is kind of like corn nuts. If you go to a cevicheria in Peru, the first thing they put on the table, it's a little bowl of cancha. The Japanese sweet potato, it's a little sweeter, it's a little earthier, it's even a little floral. It's really nice. There's always onions on your ceviche, and traditionally, a piece of lettuce. Uh, it adds more freshness and a little bit of green color. Peruvian food is so colorful. Yellows, reds, purples, pinks, greens, all of them. We like to use products at the peak of their ripeness. That's why they're also so, so colorful. I mean, we like it juicy. Reason why 
you each of each it with a spoon and not a fork. Thinly sliced red onion that's been sitting in a little bit of water just to keep them crispy. Fried octopus goes on top. You can put as much octopus on here as you want, but you also don't want to hide your ceviche because you know, that's the star of your dish, right? And like these little pieces you can keep for yourself as a little snack. Okay, so this ceviche looks amazing. The fresh fish and you know tartness from the leche de tigre, the freshness from the lettuce, the sweetness from the octopus, the starchy break from uh, choclo in the cancha, and then your fried octopus on top. Let's try it, yeah? I'm gonna put a little bit of piece of little piece of octopus on there. Hmm. If your ceviche doesn't look like this, somebody's not doing it right. That's that's real ceviche. That's actually really good. Um, <laughs> the helium is so aromatic and spicy at the same time. It, it doesn't kill you. The crunchiness of the octopus, the brininess. It's just a really well balanced dish. That's why it's one of the best dishes in the world.